Assalamu alaikum and a very good day to everyone. I'm Yuhaida Yusuf from FJMK. This is a recording for me to explain to you my product. My product is a teaching courseware on equivalent fraction for mathematics from one. It is utilizing visual spatial intelligence from multiple intelligence theory by Howard Gardner. This is the graphic to show to students what is the meaning of equivalent fractions so they don't have to understand the English part of it which means I'm not utilizing linguistic intelligence I'm utilizing visual spatial intelligence which research has shown that weak students are very good at that This is a learning objective for this courseware. Students will be taught to understand and use the knowledge of equivalent fraction. 1 over 2 is equal to 2 over 4. And it's equal to 3 over 6. So here again, I'm utilizing visual spatial intelligence for students to understand the meaning of equivalent fraction. This is the main menu. We have five learning outcome for this courseware. This is the first learning outcome, find equivalent fraction for a given fraction. This is one over two, which is equal to two over four and equal to three over six. So the graphic here has already tell the student we are trying to find equivalent fraction for 1 over 2. This is the first tutorial for the, fir the first page of tutorial for the first learning objective. So this is 1. Now it has become 1 over 2 or half. This is another half. Now what we are doing is we are doubling the numerator, numerator times 2, and we are doubling the denominator times 2. So that will give us 2 over 4. This is another 2 over 4. Again, we are doubling the numerator times 2. And we are doubling the denominator times 2. So now it becomes 4 over 8. This is the first page of the tutorial for learning objective 2. Compare the values of two given fractions. So here we are trying to compare 2 over 3 with 5 over 6. LCM or lowest common multiple of 3, where does 3 comes from? Here, the denominator of the first fraction. And 6, what is 6? This one, the denominator of the second fraction. So 3 and 6 can be divided with 3. We get 1 and 2. And we can further divide with 2. And we get 1, 1. So LCM is 3 times 2 there. So that will give us 6. 2 over 3, we have to change that to the common denominator of 6. So how we do that? We have to times the denominator with 2 so that it becomes over 6. Thus, we have also to do the same for the numerator times 2, which becomes 4. So now 2 over 3 has become 4 over 6. Now this is a number line. So where is 2 over 3? Okay, this is 4 over 6, which is we simplify, we can, it will be 2 over 3. It is equal to 2 over 3. 2 over 3 we want to compare that with 5 over 6 which is at 
the right side of four of over six or two over three. So meaning that two over three is smaller than five over six. It's less. Two over three is less than five over six. So this is just a simple demonstration to you from the whole courseware. Just to give an idea to you how I utilize visual spatial intelligence to convey the mathematical concepts to weak student, whereby weak student, if we explain using language or utilizing linguistic intelligence, it's very difficult for them to understand because they cannot see. So I hope this demonstration can convey to you what I'm trying to do with this courseware. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much.